Here we are in beautiful Tech Bileron City. This is the biggest city on the island of Bohol in the Philippines. But relative to... I'll check this place out. As I was saying, relative to other cities in the Philippines, it's really not that big. It's pretty small. I think maybe just a couple hundred thousand people. But, uh, you know, most Filipino cities have this look. This is what they look like. It's like earthy colors like that. You know, everything looks like it's a bit faded out a little. Of course, your power lines. This is the main street in Tag Bilaran. What's up? <laughs> Everybody's always very friendly. You see that across the country. The Filipinos in general are super, super, super friendly. Hey, what's up? <laughs> this is Altura's mall. Big mall, lots of fast food. And there's always, you see a lot of fast food places. I mean, you see McDonald's almost on every corner in a big Filipino city. Tricycles. Or I guess these are more like rickshaws, but yeah, you know, tricycles, rickshaws, there's a tricycle. One of the main ways of transport. It's depending on where you're going, it's usually $2 to, $2 to $4, typically. You need top. That's like a budget department store. You can buy like a anything in there, clothes to, Kitchenware and I don't know anything, anything you want basically. Just going along here, you know, taking in all the sights. To those not very familiar or not having not spent a lot of time in the Philippines, this might look pretty dirty or run down, which I guess it is a bit. But important thing is it's very safe. There's really no danger here. All right, let's cross the road to see what's up. Just everybody, you know, out and about on their day. It's actually very, very crowded today. I don't usually come down to Tagbilaran too often. I'm in Panglao. Uh, let's check out this way. Oh, look at that haircut, please. <laughs> I might have, eh. <laughs> might have to come back there. Woo. Although I like the guy that I get my haircut from on my island, Panglao. So it's just a side street. You know, we're just walking around. Jeepney. Definitely see lots of jeepneys. No matter what, which Filipino city. A lot of jeepneys. Always. Let's we'll see where this goes. Anyways, like I was saying, I lived in Manila for five years, so I got my Filipino big city experience. So this actually looks a lot like QC. It's definitely what it reminds me of. QC's Quezon City in a uh, metropolitan area of Manila. It's technically the biggest city in the Philippines, by the way. Yeah, a lot of open sewage. It's pretty common. It's a little restaurant here. Looks like a cool spot. I'm sure everything's very reasonable, price-wise. Oh, look at this. It's like a little food court, I guess you might call it. That's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Like, you just get out and start walking around. That's how you really see these cities, you know? Because even if you're driving yourself around, you know, you just, you're not going to catch a lot of the nuances of a city. And again, it's very safe. You'll have no problem walking around here by yourself, as I'm doing right now. Oh, they got it. 7-Eleven, Watson's. <laughs> it's like all the same stores you see across the Philippines. It's always 7-Eleven, Watson's, Mercury Drug, and then Jollibee, McDonald's. You name it. Coming back up on the main drag here. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much, this is the center of the city. You know? I mean, this whole drag uh, we can walk up there actually that's where like the city square or 
center, I guess that's how you would call it. Little store selling all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Helmets and plastic containers. I'll bring it a little wide and widen it out here a little bit. Um oh, selling like mango mango. Wow. That's nice. How much? Twenty? Twenty pesos for one? Oh okay. Twenty pesos. Okay, I try one. 20 pesos. Can't go wrong with that, you know? It's some spicy, nice. Sir. Huh? Spicy sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah. Spicy sounds good. We like spicy. Let me make sure I have 20. Ah, trying to. Ah, here's 20. Okay. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> thank you. Alright, salamat po. Or salamat kayo. Yeah, thank you. Do you have like a toothpick? Like a toothpick? Cellophane. Cellophane. Okay. More plastic to eat with this. Okay. Mango. Mango with salt, right? And what's the red stuff? Is that... Celly. Celly? Oh, celly. Like chili. Pepper, yeah? Ah, uh, okay. Salamakayo, thank you. This is her store right here in Tagbileron. Come see... What, what was your name? Mer Mercy? Mercy. 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 I'm Tommy. Uh, very nice to meet you, Mercy. Everybody, if you're in Tagbilaron and you want some mangoes, come see Mercy. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Oh, wow. Look at that. Nice. Nice veggies and, well, fruits mostly, I think. And sweet. Oh. Okay. I don't even know what that is. Sergamilias. Wow. Hello. Interesting stuff. Hello. <laughs> Making friends as we go along here. We'll go find a place to try out this mango. Jollibee. There's never not a Jollibee in near sight. Okay, we're pulling up to the main square here. Check that house out though. That looks like a haunted house or something. Definitely old school like maybe Spanish colonial times, Philippines. Coming up on the main church of Tagbilaran. Another feature of any given, not only Filipino city, but Filipino town, is that there's usually an old school Spanish colonial church right in the center. That's just, that's very Philippines. Um, I don't know, like the Spanish were just running around here. The 1500s, building churches. And now we're just trying to figure out how to cross a road. I don't know, nobody wants to let you go. It's very hard to <laughs> manage. Stuff. Uh, thank you. All right, one nice person. Let us by. Dude's eating popcorn, that's cool. Yeah, so now we are coming in here. They look like they're having a good time. And usually in the evening, people, you know, come after work, come after school. They just chill, hang out by the church. Um, Christmas time, there's like a big Christmas market in here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna just sit down on one of these benches and uh, enjoy my mangoes. <laughs> Something freaked those birds out. There they go. <laughs> Heard a few screeches. It's the church. Birds. All right, let's try this out. Let's go for it. There you go. Whoa. And too much salt. <laughs> I think that salt needs to be spread out a little bit. But the mango is delicious. Personally, I'm a fan of the sour mangoes like this. The green mango, I think as it's called. Yeah, I like this more than the sweet one. The church is really cool to look at. I mean, look at that tower. I bet you that was, that was built in 15 something, guaranteed. 
Of course, the roof has had some work done in more recent times, but typically you see the body of the church and a bell tower, and then like the roofs have been redone. Because they just probably built that with wood back in the day, so you know, it didn't last too long. This is the Capitol building of Bohol. As you can see right there, province of Bohol Capitol building across from the church. Again, old colonial Spanish building, very common of Filipino cities. Uh, what are they working on? I don't know. Well, I still got this bag of mangoes. I just wanted to try it, honestly, and it's really good, but you know, I'm just not very hungry, so maybe if we see somebody that uh, looks like they need it more than me, we'll go ahead and hand that over to them. Yeah, that, you know, that's one thing. I mean, being ambulances and given the traffic, uh, yeah, it doesn't really paint a pretty picture. I mean, if you were in trouble and urgently needed care, yeah, you might, you might want to wish you were elsewhere. Okay, let's try and cross this road again. Always a, hello. <laughs> She said, shout out. Hi. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see who's going to be nice to us. Or I guess I just have to take it as I'm going. Is this guy, thank you. Whoop. All right. <laughs> okay. Maybe when people see themselves being recorded, they're more likely to... Uh, be friendly. Maybe not, I don't know. It's a theory that we're working on. Don't block that driveway if you're ever here. Do not do it. You saw the sign. Cebuana. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but there are, uh, this road is just one after the other remittance stores where family members that work abroad send back money Take care, take care of everybody here. What is it? It's called Inside Plant? Inside. Inside Plant. Ah. I have a flower ring. This one's a money maker. Oh, yeah. Mm. That is nice, man. Oh, uh, money maker. Oh, well, I'm okay, bro. You want some mangoes, though? You want mangoes? No. You don't like mangoes? No? Okay. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> he doesn't like mangoes. Not everybody's a mango fan. That's okay. Looks like some good street foods over there. Let's go check that out. Why don't we? Woo! Crossing the road. Always a fun exercise here in the Philippines. Wow, look at all this stuff. Let's see what we got going on here. Looks like some kind of fry. What is that? Chicken? Chicken. Fried, fried chicken? Ah, chicken crumb? Oh, like the skin? No. No? Part of the Here? <laughs> okay. Oh, fat, like chicken fat. No? Okay. I gave up. It smells like chicken skin or fat. I don't know. Oh, this is quick, quick. These orange. They use this orange batter. Cook it up in that oil. And this particular one, it looks like gives you some kind of like cucumber, right? Cucumber. It's quick, quick. Yeah. What, uh, egg? Like quail uh, egg. Quail quail egg. egg. Quail quail egg. Quail ah, okay. Quail egg. How much is one? 20. 20 peso? Okay. Maybe I get one? Okay. Yeah? That yeah? yeah, looks pretty good. Yeah, and then spicy or Spicy, yeah, spicy, good, I like spicy. All right, 20 pesos. Yeah, we like spicy. Wow, look at that, that looks beautiful. 20. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, yeah, look at that. Quick, quick, spicy. Let's try this out. Woo, it smells good. Quick, quick, got spicy sauce all over it. 
It's a quail egg. Ooh, that's good shit. Mm-hmm. Got some cucumber with peppers. It's good stuff. Here we go, another one. Mm. Down the hatch. All right, let's see what else is getting cooked up around here. This looks like hot dog or something. Oh, chili. Fried chili peppers. Look at that. Ah. And I am not sure what that is. That looks pretty yummy too. <clears throat> we got, uh... wow, what is that? Uh, this is a uh, fish stick, sir. Oh, fish stick. Fish stick, huh. Mm, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you like fish stick. <laughs> you want mango? Mango. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I keep trying to get people mangoes. They don't want them. <laughs> hey. Oh, you want mango? Mango. Yeah. Here you go. Mango. You want quick, quick? Okay. All right. It's yummy. I already had my fair share anyway, so, you know. Whoa. What is that? Is that also a fish stick? Fish? Or fish? Oh, okay. Fried fish stick. Interesting. Cool. All right. Well, hey, you know what? That's a pretty, that's a pretty good little uh, street food corner, <laughs> street food corner, street food park, whatever you want to call that. That was good. I like the quick quick. I think quick quick is the first um, street food in the Philippines that I tried when I first came eight years ago. <sighs> I actually, I probably haven't eaten that in a solid five years, no joke. So, yeah, hey, you know, making these videos gets me back out and exploring. That's what it's all about. It's a juice, kind of juice lady. She's got a yellow one and a blue one and a white one. Wow. What kind of juice? Ten pesos. Huh? Ten. Ten pesos. But like, which uh, flavor? What flavor? Uh, lemon. Lemon. Like uh, coconut, yeah? Ah, okay. And 10 pesos for one? Okay, I tried the blue. I like the blue one. That looks like a nice one, huh? Wow. She puts it down that funnel. It's like you're putting gasoline in a car, you know? Down the funnel. Oh, look at that. It's in a little plastic bag. Look at that. That's so cool. It's a little It's a little plastic bag. Wow. Is Which one is your favorite? Blue one or yellow? Yeah, see? I knew the blue one was gonna be a winner. Ate always knows best. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 10 pesos. Here, hold this. I'll give you 10 pesos. Digging into my pockets, which are slowly running out. Here you go. Thank you. All right, salamat kayo, thank you. Woo, let's go try this blue lemonade stuff. Look at that. It's a little, little baggy. Woo, that is really sweet. There's a lot of sugar in there, but. What's up guys? That is really sweet. Oh my God. But yeah, it's pretty good, not bad. I was looking for a little refreshment anyways. Woo. Okay, that is a little tour of Tag Bileron. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you thought about this city.